hey what's the best one on this v6 and uh, welcome back guys so a lot of you guys had questions about how to actually export your model into minecraft so that you could play it and use it and stuff so today i'm going to be showing you guys uh what you need to do in order to achieve this all you have to do really is one export the texture and make sure everything is loaded to that texture and then to export the model so here's what we're going to do uh, when you make um, the voxels into textures you're going to see that these are actually pulling from the texture but we have nothing in the texture right now and we want to use a voxel palette so you're going to right click it you're going to save texture into whatever resource pack you use in this case i have one made already here it's called modeling basics so we're just going to find modeling basics in our resource pack right here and this very important you're going to go assets minecraft textures blocks all right that exact file path because if you don't do that the the folder or the model itself isn't going to be able to pull from there uh all right so we're gonna name it uh music box underscore or music underscore box and um you can name it whatever you want, but I'm naming this so later I know what texture this is used for. And make sure to not use any capital letters because that would not work. All right, so I'm going to save this. Um, and then for our texture, you right click in a load texture and you're going to go to the same folder um, and you're going to load your um, texture. All right, so modeling basics, assets, Minecraft, textures, blocks, and right here we have music box. Load with that. Make sure to do the same thing for the particle. We don't want that missing particle texture. All right, and uh, so there we go. We have our textures pulled there. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to file. We're gonna go to export, and we're gonna export our model into uh, our resource pack. So uh, modeling basics assets Minecraft. I'm gonna go models. And I'm going to save it in a blocks folder, but you can save it in the items folder too. I usually do that if I'm doing something like uh, a block on top of an armor saint's head. For this demonstration, I'm going to go block. And we're going to name it whatever block you want. And I'm going to do glass in this case. Make sure it's transparent if you're using a transparent base. All right, so save. All right, so now we're done with that. We're going to close Cubic Studio. Um, sure, let's save our changes. And then close, please. Is it? Is it gonna, uh, there we go. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure we have everything. So assets, Minecraft models, block. We have our glass here. Assets, Minecraft textures, blocks. We have our texture here. It's the same texture we used. So all we're gonna do now is load up Minecraft. We're gonna go options, resource pack, and we see we have our modeling basics uh, loaded already. I'm gonna go into my test world here, and uh, we can see that we have our glass here. Make sure modeling basics is loaded. Uh, we're gonna go to F3 and T just to reload the texture pack. And it should work after we do that. All right, there we go. You see we have our model right there. It's pretty nifty. Uh, so yeah, um, one of the glitches for, or one of the, the bugs for Cubic Studio is actually it doesn't save your preview settings, your display tags. So every time you have to do it again, that's why my GUI is all messed up and stuff. So right there, we see we have our uh, model right there with a transparent base because it's a glass block. And yeah, everything seems to be working correctly. And if we break it, it should have the particle. There we go. We don't want that missing particles because it's just really ugly. Now, I know that was a really quick tutorial, but really there's nothing more to say. Um, just basically, maybe recap it real quick. You're gonna go and you're gonna export your voxel palette uh, as any texture in the blocks texture or textures blocks folder. And then what you're gonna do next is you're going to just um, load this into your textures. So whatever texture you use, just load it in as your particle and your texture. And you're gonna export your model into Minecraft models blocks or items. All right, so model block or model item. And yeah, make sure that all the file paths are correct. If it doesn't work anymore, or if it still doesn't work, then uh, ask me in the comments and I'll be sure to help you guys out. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.